The General Hospital GH recap for Friday, February 9th features a sad and poignant day in Port Charles as Nathan and Max's friends, co-workers and loved ones gathered to pay respects. An emotional day begins the day started with Jordan Vanessa Antoine reading the end of the watch call over the pass system at the PCPD. This verse is read for fallen officers and the funeral that followed was just as fitting. Maxi Kirsten Storms got ready with Sam Kelly Monaco and Felicia's Christina Wagner help, but when left alone in her apartment for a few minutes, Georgie's spirit paid her a visit. Advertising invented by Teeds Maxi told Georgie Lindsay Leatherman how she never really deserved Nathan Ryan PV and always knew it would end this way, and Georgie reminded her that she still has Nathan's baby. Saying goodbye at the church, Nathan's coffin was brought in DD in the American flag, but then an open coffin service allowed people to say goodbye. Nina Michelle Stafford gave a tear-filled eulogy about how her brother would give coins to the homeless as a child, and then left coins in his hand in the coffin. At the cemetery, Nathan's flag was folded and Dante Dominic Zamprogna handed it to a tear-filled Maxi. When everyone paid the respects to the family, Valentine James Patrick Stewart was also there to give a knowing look to Peter Wes Ramsey. Back at the floating rib, funeral goers gathered to say goodbye and Spinelli Bradford Anderson broke out into a rendition of Danny Boy, but what happened back at the ceremony is telling of what's to come. Max's anger while Lulu Emmy Rylan stood back from the crowd for most of the funeral, she finally got the guts to approach Maxie and tell her how sorry she is after her friend watched George's spirit take Nathan to heaven. That's when Maxie turned cold and told Lulu that SHES to blame and took everything from her. Louis Lou just stood there stunned. General Hospital GH airs weekdays on ABC. Check your local listings for airtimes. Advertising invented by Teeds.